I think it's safe to speak and welcome back to my channel. Uh, we're doing the saboteur, as you saw. I've been waiting to do this game for a while. Uh, this would have probably been done uh, shortly after Assassin's Creed 2 had I not got lost in DCUI. So, yeah. Anyway, this is a hidden gem from 2009. Ironically, at the same time that Assassin's Creed 2 came out, which is probably why it didn't get the uh, attention from the reviewers that it probably should have done. But it's a bit of a flawed game in some ways in the way that uh, Sean behaves. But aside from that, it is an absolute gem. If you missed this game, strongly advise you go out and pick up a copy from wherever you can pick up a copy. It should be available relatively cheaply. Let's have a look. Let's move the slider until I can see it on the screen here. Maybe my screen's a bit brighter than yours. Yeah, there we go. Options! Ah, there we go. Um, all over the place. Unfortunately, with it being YouTube, that kind of has to go off. Come on, you can always go to the confession when you're done playing. <laughs> I love that. Right, now we're in business. Put the kitties to bed already. Oh, that's more like it. Come on, you can always go to the confession when you're done playing. Uh, Uh, that sounds horrible. Uh, gamma correction. We just, we've done that. Controls. Inverted because why not? Ah! Right. Weapon equipped. Rolling in car. Focus objective. Camera switch. Trap. Nitrous. It's just that there is no way to turn off the music. God damn it, really? I was really hoping there would be. But yeah. Right, so downloads doesn't work. EA turned that off a long time ago. Uh, but you can get, if you want to get the Midnight Club, you can get it from the PlayStation Store. I think it's free. I think. If not, it's very, very cheap. So, right, without much further ado, let's get into one of my personal favorite games. It, it, it is on my top 10 list. Um, yeah, yeah, normal should be fine. Should be fine. Um, it's not fantastic. Um, there are some issues with the game, but the way that it does what it does, it does it really, really well. And it's it's one of those games that you wish came out in the modern uh, uh, new generation consoles. Because if it did, this game would be freaking awesome. And that's with the nudity off. Remember, it is 2009, so yeah. But graphics are still okay for for saying that it is actually 2009, so that's all right. The backs of the chair look a bit like paper, but. Yeah. yeah, that's the only thing wrong with the game. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it really. Is this seat taken? I'm not looking for company. 
You are in Paris, my friend. In this city, no one drinks alone. So, what are we celebrating? <laughs> we aren't. But if you're keen to get your teeth kicked in, I'll be happy to oblige. Mm. I'd have thought you were too busy kicking yourself. With good reason, I'm sure. What's it to you? You think you're the only man in Paris hoping to drown a guilty conscience? This city is filled with men like us. We all have good reasons. I've been watching you these past weeks. I have seen that you have no love for the Nazis. The question is, how many more people will die at the hands of these jackbooted killers while you sit there cowering like a whipped dog? You're mad enough to break that bottle over my head, but you won't lift a finger to help these people, eh? This isn't my country. Oh, did you abandon your conscience at the border? Does the need for justice end at some line drawn on a map? Aye, if it's a map of Ireland. You Frenchmen have unrealistic expectations. Open your eyes! The war is all around us. You can't escape it. You can hide here and leave the fighting to braver men. Or you can walk out that door and do what must be done. The choice is yours! Keep it down. That sort of talk will get us both a bullet in the back of the head. I intend to do more than talk. There is a courtyard around the corner. Meet me there when you are ready to stop hiding. Uh, if you're thinking that you know uh, Sean, the main character's voice, you probably do. He's um, everywhere. Assassin's Creed 3 is the voice of George Washington. Um, he is the voice of... Oh, well, where to start? He's in Prototype 2, he's in The Darkness 2, Star Wars The Old Republic, Saints Row 3, and I believe 4 as well as the President's voice. Uh, um, I'm sure it's Saints Row 4. Yep, uh, yeah, yeah, President of the United States, yep. Yeah. Um, let's see, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Locus Krantus from Gears of War 3. Uh, was in a TV series as uh, as himself, uh, well, himself, not as himself, of course, but he was in a TV series, so, um, NCIS, and also in Tron Evolution, so he's, he's been everywhere, pretty much. So, if you're thinking that you remember him, you probably do. Oh, he's also in the Infamous. Sweet. Didn't realise that. Oh, cool. But yeah, he's got one of those voices which just appears everywhere because, well, he's got one of those accents that kind of is nowhere unless you put an accent onto it. So, yeah, it's kind of cool. But, uh, lovely game world. Black and white and colour in some places. I love the way that they did this and the way that they handled the use of colour in this game. It's fantastic. But, um, yeah, let's get on with the game and see what happens. Ah. I see you're a man who'd rather die on his feet than live on his knees. I'd rather the Krauts did the dying. Excellent. There is a German fuel depot down the street. 5,000 barrels of precious petrol, guarded by a handful of half-drunk supply clerks. Sounds like one hell of a fire hazard. My thoughts exactly. We'll need something to get the fireworks started. I know a place where we can get what we need. But first, I must know. Are you prepared to kill if necessary? The way I see it, these Nazi bastards bought their own tickets to hell. I'm just laying out the welcome mat. That's my car there. I'll drive. So, yeah. I can't turn off the music. Unfortunately. Let's get moving. Where are we headed? I spotted a German supply cache nearby. I am sure they won't mind if we borrow a few things, eh? Have you ever handled explosives before? I handled a bombshell once. Turned out she was married. This is serious! All right, keep your knickers on. I know what I'm doing. I had a feeling you would. Uh, do, do, do. Mayard, 
Look at this. You fucking Nazis everywhere, infesting my beautiful city like cockroaches. They certainly made themselves at home. It's time we showed them a different kind of hospitality. Oh. Right, so if you're wondering what, what the game actually is, for all intents and purposes, it is a GTA clone. There's no way around getting around that. It's a GTA clone with some aspects of Assassin's Creed, uh, Prince of Persia, with its climbing, but it's limited in the climbing itself. Uh, Call of Duty with its weapon use. The supply for sure. down that alley. Let's go. Look at those spineless jackals. I can't stand it anymore. Whoa, steady, mate. Let's just get what we came for. SBC don't fall du mer. Christ, here we go. What is los mit dir? What the fuck was all that about? Uh, not now. Let's go. All right. So we have the Haymaker attack view perks. Uh, so if you want to progress through perks, you need to unlock the first one. So. Kill five Nazis using bullets, kill five Nazis using a sniper scope, kill ten Nazis using grenades, but three Nazi vehicles using dynamite, that's so easy. And trust me, you'll get that within a couple of hours of playing the game. Escape from a level two alarm, level five at the top. Mechanics, collect five different civilian vehicles, don't know the rest, win the time trial. So, yeah, throw five Nazis to their deaths and destroy two Nazi installations, again. Simple. Uh, okay, so and hold to charge up. Oh, okay. The crates are up there, but we need to be careful. This supply cache is a restricted area. Oh, why? Was that you being careful back in the alley? I lost my temper. It won't happen again. See that it doesn't. I didn't leave a nice warm bar just to get my head blown off. If we are spotted near the crate, the Germans will attempt to sound the alarm. Then we'll have to get rid of that lookout first. Yes, you should be able to find hand and foot oars on the surface of that building. Climb up there and throw that Nazi piece of shit from the roof while I move in on the ground. Can you do that? It's a piece of piss. I do not know this phrase. <laughs> it means yes. See what I mean about limited climbing? So, the idea is that you move to anywhere that is highlighted in silver. Even when you colour things in, it will be this silver colour. So, see the difference? favors these crowds brought for us. Break open those crates. Those explosives will do nicely. Just remember to save at least one charge for the fuel depot. Let's get back to the car. Just to get the real show started. Ah, 
Mossman would have lost their nerve by now. Tell me, my friend, what were you doing in Ireland before you came to my country? I was a mechanic. Not that it's any of your business. A mechanic, eh? <laughs> well, the resistance to using the mechanic. I didn't know there was a resistance in Paris. That's about to change. After tonight, the Nazis will have a new enemy to fear. The depot is just up ahead. We'll need to create a diversion to get past that gate. The Nazis are trained to investigate the sound of gunshots or an explosion. Use that to your advantage. Ten pounds of high explosive on that truck should get their attention. Aye, that'll do. Start by climbing that building. Once you're on the roof, keep your head down and wait until the truck explodes. Then, use that telephone wire to cross the street into the fuel depot. While the soldiers are distracted, move in quickly and place a charge on the primary storage tank. I'll meet you by the gate when it's done. Watch your ass, Irishman. So yeah, the way that they've actually used the colour in this game, in black and white areas, anything that's a light or usable is yellow. Anything to do with the French resistance is blue. Anything to do with the Nazis is red. It's kind of simple, but it works. is going to go boom. Electro. Right now we need to pick him up after we set the big charge. That's my cue. Time to leg it. Jump. Cancel. That's just that. Uh, yeah, that's what I wanted. Let's stay in conspicuous. That's how, the, that's how the game changes. So when you do something big, you bring color to the place. did make a pretty picture. <laughs> you are wrong, Irishman. Something has changed. It is in the air. Can you not feel it? Well, now that you mention it, it is just the beginning. We will push back the darkness, free the city from fear, house by house, and street by street. Get some rest, my friend. We will have much to do in the days ahead. Oh, why? If by that you mean a sweet brunette and a glass of whiskey, <laughs> enjoy your reward, Irishman. You earned it. I owe you a drink. Oh, that car is wrecked. Okay, so let's save the game. Uh, that's an auto save. Right, so. What I've done is... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Um, made it so that there is... 
saboteur. There we go. Basically nothing on this, but this is a profile that I've created just for this game because I, I'm I'm not intending to get 100% or, or platinum it, but I wanted to get some of the trophies that can be particularly difficult uh, to get. But um, yeah, so we've got Viva La Resistance done. Uh, let's see. You jump from the Eiffel Tower and survive. That's a bit tricky. Uh, stealth killer, Nazi general, while disguised. Simple. Uh, make it through the story with your dis through a story mission. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna get that one done. Uh, bird blasts completed. Four twenty-five, seventy-five. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. That's how you get the area free. So. You can count up how many you actually need for that. But um, yeah, it's all good. So it's pretty much going to be it for this. And I'll be back next time with a continuation of the Saboteur. So thanks for watching. Bye.